Howdy. Good to see you again. Huh? Eh? Huh? <laughs> oh, these are our fine use uh, sample ladles. No, they're actually our spoon rest. Yeah, well. Rest is. Let it rest. Well, we're glad to see everybody again. This is Cooking Cheap, the show that is not uh, pretentious. We try to be witty and funny. We are not <laughs> chefs. Please quit writing and tell us about how to do stuff. We know, but we do it the way we want to. Well, we try. Goodness knows we try. I'm just grateful that for one of the few times in our entire 16-year history that we're doing we're doing this when I have a good tan. I oh, no. <laughs> well, you know, we haven't been around for a while because I've been sick. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you still look a little pasty. Well, I am, and I, I've lost weight. Especially and, compared to me and my lovely skin color. Oh, let me do the three stooges <laughs> move on you. No, I, I, I uh, have had several terrible things go wrong with me. We won't go through the catalog, but it did include things like a slip disc in my neck, and oh, then I had cataracts in both eyes two, and a stroke. Two, three, and heart attack, finally four, a major league heart attack. Five. Sat, that, that's enough. Oh, where okay. I sat around for... Uh, four days and didn't know I had it. And she fried heart. my heart just like Bly's going to do this beef in a minute. But anyway, <laughs> we're back, we're healthy, we're okay, just, and I'm not dead yet. And pretty much like yeah. I did my brain years yeah, ago. Let's, let's we're our... today doing a southern meal. Oh, wait a minute. And the reason for that, of course, yes. is we uh, are, after all, in the star city of the south, ladies and gentlemen. Uh -huh. Is this incredibly tacky or what? But it is wonderful. Yes, I it love is. it myself and personally. It does keep the light off your eyes, and, and we look like one of those country music stars, you know. The, like and the great thing Yoakum is, you know, when, when we get finished, we can wipe up the sink with uh -huh. it. Uh-huh. Yes. <laughs> but, you know, we, we got a letter. The mayor gave us this. Yes, the mayor of our city in uh, Roanoke, uh, Virginia, mm -hmm. here uh, gave us this. Uh, he's a wonderful man, Mayor David A. Bowers, and... God love him for giving us these hats. They're, it and has they're, ruined my hair yeah, for the rest of the and show. They're sort of indicative of David's character. But anyway, uh, the wit, uh, we got uh, Miss Witch, would Excuse you me. fly in here, please, while Larry's fixing his hair? Boink! <laughs> she bounced off of my uh -huh. equipment. And now be careful. This is the letter that came in to us to uh, get us to do this. Would you read that? Because I don't have my reading specs on. I don't either. Oh. Well. Do a southern meal. Oh, do a southern meal. I yes. thought it was do a southern meal. Do a southern meal. <laughs> <laughs> we live in New Hampshire and want to know how y'all eat. Uh, what is that? It's Juanita, Juanita Yankee. Yankee. Oh, Loudmouth, New Hampshire. Well, how about that? Well, well we're going we're gonna to do that. Yep. We're we'll do that. Only time I ever came on, my hair combed, and, and I messed it up already. But what can you do? No, oh, no, don't get a close up oh, of it. Yeah, Please, it, don't it, do it's that. It's just real pretty. I have to, uh, I'm going to do a, a southern oriental dish. <laughs> southern oriental. Uh-huh. <laughs> I don't know why that tickles me, but it does. And I have to start out. Who sent it in to Oh, it's sent in by the very lovely Anne Francis of, have you ever heard of this place, Nathalie, Virginia? Uh-uh. Nathalie, Virginia? Nathalie, know. Virginia. We'll have somebody in the back that knows how to say it. I don't it, know. Anyway. I've never heard of it. Anne Francis. Anne Francis. I know Anne Francis here in uh, where we are at Rona. She's a good person. I had another half of this, and I know it's under the seat in my uh, new car. Because uh, <laughs> it happens melting, every melting, time. melting. Yes, indeed. So I'm going to throw that in there and heat that up. I'm using margarine rather than butter. It calls for either one. doesn't matter, and you need to heat it up real good. And the only other thing I'm going to do right at the moment while that's heating is I have uh, some beef, uh, and this is stew beef. Mm -hmm. And because stew beef is... Uh, I knew him. He lived over on 13th Street. Stew beef. Street. <laughs> he was a good man. Yeah. He really was. And uh, used to play the piano. Uh -huh. uh -huh. and, but anyway, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop this up a little bit because I think these pieces are unconscionably large. They are. So For I'm those gonna... that are um, toothily uh, challenged, it's real hard. If you've got a plate, you just can't handle. So I'm a just going to I'm, I'm going to cut these into smaller pieces. Uh -huh, just what I'm going to do. do. Well, that's and that's all good. I'm going to do for a while. So you just have a good time. Oh, Go at it, Mr. Right. Johnson, one time. Well, this this recipe is a pie. You know, all of us in the South are just famous for loving pies, and and we do. But this one I wanted to do because it's so peculiar. <laughs> it, it it's a it's called a Cairo. It's a syrup pie. Syrup pie. You could use Cairo. You could use any other cane syrup or honey, and we we're going to use honey today. 
and it doesn't have any list of, uh, it's got a list of ingredients, but it says do it the way you want to, just like Grandma used to do. So, lousy, we're going to try, but we have no idea how this thing's going to come Grandma out. used to go down to the store and buy them. So I remember. Uh -huh. <laughs> now, so we're going to make a paste out of the ingredients at hand, which is uh, bread crumbs. And please don't use the Italian ones. Use the, the plain ones. And you can make them yourself if you're real cheap and smart. And a lot of people have gotten on to doing that. You just let them uh, dry out a little bit and put them in the oven for just a tiniest little bit of time uh, at low heat and they'll dry out and then you can run them through your processor or if you've got a little child at home they can with their little teeny 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 fingers just crunch them up and that way they can get all of their kind of anger out. By so, the way I need before I forget it and I know I'm going to I need to put on some rice. Oh, so I'm all going right. to have some water boiling. Well are you going to use that real sticky kind that will stick to your skin and look so good on you like a a woolly shirt. <laughs> I put that stuff in there. I'm using a little of this uh, little success rice today because right. it's so easy to take on the road with you. Oh, uh, it is. Just throw it down in there. Now, I've got some, I haven't measured this, but that looks like about a cup and a half of breadcrumbs down in here. And to that, I'm going to add some uh, nutmeg. Just plain, and, and we don't grate it around here too often because we keep losing it or the mice eat it at night. And nutmeg is a real strong spice, so don't use, you know, just tons of it. It'll overpower everything you're cooking. But I'm putting in a couple of pinches worth of, of nutmeg. And for those of you that uh, don't cook all the time, a pinch is just like put some in your hand and pinch it and throw it down in there. That's what a pinch is. And um, you get some lemon peel. And just take your old grater and grate some peel off the lemon. People see me getting close to this Teflon surface with this knife. I'll be getting letters. I know I will. But I've had this. Tootsie gave me this electric frying pan. And Johnson, haven't you and I been on the road? We have used hundreds that all over this country. This thing, this frying pan has just logged thousands of miles. And. Uh, you just keep on doing it down in here. Now, this recipe that I'm doing, this, this syrup recipe, it is not for you that have diabetes. Mm -mm. And I've been cooking a lot with uh, artificial sugar of various brands and kinds. But this, you just have to have the sugar in it, so I will only have a taste of it at the end of the show because I don't want it to affect my health, sight, vision, or any of the other problems feet and all that stuff, and it's it's a shame. There, we're going to do some recipes this year where we can throw some sh uh, non-sugar stuff into it and make it real good, but not today. Okay, I've got my beef on now. Oh, there's that wad of stuff I was looking for. Well, no, that's the one I cut it from. That's... Uh, well, I, I guarantee it's in your car. You see one, we'll you see melted. it all. Yeah, about six months from now, I'll be going down the highway wondering what's going on in my car. All right, now I've got this turned up way up on high. It's up to about 2,000 degrees now. And we're going to start cooking that. The first thing you do is you add uh, the onions. And this actually calls for two tablespoons of dried chopped onions. So that's what I got. Well, Larry, have you know, they cleaned this kitchen up right smart. Oh, is that so? Uh-huh. Hmm. Oh. Well, you know, it, it was used for uh, several other shows while we were gone. They, <laughs> I think they did a, one of those home shows where, you know, they uh, put cabinets up and, uh -huh. and all that stuff. So, uh, Ooh, well, doesn't that smell is, good? Yes, it does. Who could argue with that? Now, you've got to fry that for about five or ten minutes or until it's brown. So there's all I can do for the moment. All right. Now, I've got my lemon peel in with my breadcrumbs, and the uh, that's the, the grated peel of a lemon. You could put more mm, if you wanted good. to. Yes, it does. And now I'm going to make a paste out of it with some honey, and that will form the body of our pie. Doesn't that sound kind of the body of our pie? Sounds like a religious ritual. Well, I have gotten grease all over my recipe already, and I hadn't been here three minutes. 
I'm going to be adding soy sauce, Worcestershire sauce, garlic powder, and meat tenderizer. I think that's right interesting. Mm -hmm. And pepper. I guess that's the southern part of this, don't sure you? It is. The sure meat it tenderizer is. part. Oh, I have so many things to mix with. I don't get it. Oh, just all these little spoons. Doris is just outdone herself. She has. She's rustled up all of these fine dishes for us, and you'll be seeing some of them later on. And she'll be in here in a little bit also. We've had a lot of people asking if she's been sick. And she hasn't. She's been sick and tired. She's recently, the only one that hadn't been sick in this whole bunch, except for me, and my health is fine. But my life isn't too fine. But my health no, has been his real health great, is fine. He is robust. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't do yeah, that. As opposed to rogue gut. <laughs> Ten minutes on that rice. All right, maybe, maybe you ought to go over all those ingredients in case anybody's cooking with us at home. All right, Southern Oriental uh, by Anne Francis. A half a stick of butter or margarine, three to four pounds of stew beef. That's not quite three to four pounds, but I'm just fixing what I want to here. Half a cup of reduced soy sauce. Reduced sodium soy sauce. Oh. Is what <laughs> A quarter of a teaspoon of uh, seasoned meat tenderizer, half cup of Worcestershire sauce, tablespoon of garlic powder, two tablespoons of dried chopped onion, pepper to taste, and cooked noodles or rice. I'm doing rice today. Well, you know, Bly, your recipe sounds great. Smells I, and good I'm glad too. you're using that low sodium soy sauce. Uh -huh. You know, most people don't realize how salty soy sauce is. Can you say that real fast? Soy salt, soy sauce is? Right. Uh huh. And it is terribly salty, but you can get a low sodium variety of it that's quite good. So look for that. And I'm just stirring this stuff. I've added some more honey. I guess, what have I put in there, Doris? Maybe a cup and a half of honey. I'm not measuring because it said don't do it, but I'm trying to make this taste. Ooh, that, now that looks good. Well, it does. Isn't it? And it goes with the bowl. Have you noticed? It, mm -hmm. it goes perfectly with the bowl. These bowls are all the colors and everything are from our friends down in Bedford, Virginia, at the Emerson Creek Pottery, and they've given us a lot of fine dishes to use this year on the air, so that we don't look too terribly trashy. It's okay to look tacky, but you don't want to look trashy. All right, now I think I what might. What are we going to do about us? I'm just. <laughs> oh, hey, you. I'm just thinking maybe I want to It's already put started, Johnson. I know. She's already She's started. over there. We haven't been here 15 again. minutes, or at least I don't think we have. And uh, she's already started with her little snappy remarks off to you the side. You know, when I was laying there nearly dead in the hospital, I kept she seeing She came in this. and hit you, remember oh, that? Yeah, she dressed you. up like a nurse and, and came, came in and, and smacked, smacked you upside oh, the head. Oh, it was terrible. I'll never forget it was terrible. They were just horrified. We had to put a sign up on the door to keep everybody <laughs> out so I would not be nudged. <laughs> oh, this lemon smells so good. Mm -mm -mm. Lemon is just wonderful. I guess if you wanted to, and I don't right now, you could actually squeeze these uh, bad boys and put the lemon juice in this pie too, but I want to tell you the essence of the lemon taste and smell is in the oil that, that's in here. So I'm just keeping away at that. <sighs> Well, while we're talking about her so much, why don't we bring in <laughs> the queen of backstage at Cooking Cheap, the hardest working woman in show business, the lovely and ever popular Doris Ford. Okay. And Doris that has made like something up. Doris, just step right over here. Don't be shy. I'm not. Let me move these Can you find a place yeah. to out of the way. Ooh, look at this. This is a beautiful Ooh. corn pudding she has made up here. Uh, th uh, this corn pudding is from Diane Anderson from uh, Waynesboro, Virginia, up near Charlottesville. That's near my neck and of the woods, you know. And um, it, it was, it's very, very simple to make. You just <coughs> whip together sugar and six eggs and, <coughs> excuse me, and, and your mixer, and then just add your corn, uh, cream corn, whole corn, and then uh, put a little nutmeg on top and some butter and bake it in the oven for about an hour. Uh, I, it takes a half a cup of sugar, and that, to me, uh, might be a little too sweet. I don't like sweet, but I guess Southerners like sweet, right? Oh, we like, <laughs> we like sweet. But that's yeah. why we have Miss Doris Doris, what could we do with this to make it safe for me to eat? 
I we could, could use probably, egg beaters could, or something, yeah, couldn't we? Yeah, uh, because it has six eggs in it. Right. And I, when I make it at home, six I use... Six eggs? Yes, yeah, six eggs. And when I make it at home, I'll make my own, I use what I call fakey eggs. eggs. You're right. Yeah, I, I don't think Johnson ought to be eating after. this. <laughs> six eat eggs. Six eggs, and this will kill them, too. A half a cup of sugar. And you said that you can yeah, get you this can new... Yeah, you can use... Uh, uh, there, there's a relatively new product out now that you actually can use and bake with that uh, measures out the same for sugar. So you could use that and... Uh, or not the same mm -hmm. as sugar, but close to it. It'll tell you on the box about it. And, but, could, uh, could, and there's no salt or anything. Right. So you could, could adjust it yeah. for somebody that's not well. So uh, you just have to experiment, mm -hmm. folks. And that, that's what this show is all about. And, and actually, Southern cuisine is that, you know, if you taste something that tastes good, it might taste better with peanut butter on it or something like that. <laughs> I got to do something over here. Okay. Oh, are you going to give your recipe? No, I uh, do. But I when my beef to? is burning. Is this, is this something that we're supposed to do now? Put Do your recipe it, say it as you go along? Oh, well, if you want to, go ahead and okay. do it. Being that you brought it up. <laughs> yeah. I didn't. You did. A half a cup of sugar, six eggs, one can evaporated milk, two cans corn, one cream style, one whole kernel, a dab of nutmeg, and a dab of butter on top, and bake it for an hour at 350. All and right. you can use the evaporated mm -hmm. skim milk in here, too. So there's all kinds of ways you can do it to make it come out. To I need to add some stuff. Okay, go ahead. Half a cup of soy sauce at this point goes, because this beef is perfectly, I'll just put a little bit more, this beef is perfectly brown at this point, and uh, half a cup a Worcestershire sauce goes in at this point. So we'll put some of that in there. Oh dear. The hole has healed up and it won't come out. Half a cup. That's an awful lot, isn't it? Mm -hmm. There we go on that. And at this point you put your meat tenderizer and your garlic powder in there too, which is a teaspoon of seasoned meat tenderizer. That's a tablespoon. <laughs> That's a quarter of a, well, one, two, oh. what, three, four. That should be more I than enough. I think that. more yeah. than that. And then uh, a tablespoon of garlic powder. Boy, that's a lot of garlic powder, too, isn't it? Ooh. I think I'm going to go just a <laughs> oh, little light so. on that. You so might offend somebody as the evening goes on <laughs> well, if you put that much in All right, and now what you got to do is cook this stuff down. That's why I needed to get it in there so it has a chance to sort of thicken up just a wee little bit. Mm -hmm. Mr. Johnson, it's all yours. Have you noticed something? I, I, I've been watching while I've been sick a lot of other shows on TV. Well, now that's your first and problem And some of right those high-priced shows will say, and you put in this much garlic, and they show it's all, I know that's canned garlic, that, that is jarred garlic. They have not been around, they're cutting that garlic up and all those little things. And actually, it, it is better to use that than the garlic powder, but if that's what the recipe calls for, that's what it calls for. Do it that way first time, then the next time you do it yourself. She never forgets anything. Oh, Doris brought Doris the- Doris brought the breath savers, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, good for her. <laughs> But can she do and anything gonna, about the gas that will appear <laughs> later on? <laughs> I'm going to add a little pepper also at this point. You remember, you don't need to add any salt to this by any stretch of the imagination. And, and now we just got to let it caramelize right. and well, thicken up. Well, while you're doing that, I'm going to put the pie crust on for this pie. And not being like Miss Natalie Dupree, who makes, you know, her own crust, or, uh, crust we're just using the box fresh kind and... It is just fine. You're supposed to flour the bottom of it a little bit, but I didn't bring the flour, so that's okay. And I gotta tell you, when you're putting it down in your pan, don't just push it in there. Try to lift it up and help it down in there, because if it, if you stretch it too much, it won't do right while it's cooking. Do right. Do right. You remember Dudley? Oh, sorry. Dudley do right. It, what and, will it do? Pucker up? It, yeah, it won't do right. Oh, it just do won't. Right. And then you want to go along and put your crust down a little bit like that. And I'm going to show you how Grandma taught me to do pie crust later on and make it look pretty. So now I'm going to put all of this. Oh, it's that so is really thick. Looks like Mount Vesuvius or one of those mounts. Well, I haven't cut the one we brought in today. Uh-oh. But we'll see. Doris is saying right over there. Oh, uh, look at this. Anyway. You put it, well, there's still tons of it in here. Holy cow, I might have another heart attack just holding this bowl up this long. There 
There we go. And it's just the right amount, Johnson. Mm-hmm. Came out real good. I haven't been here so long, I forgot what the paper towels were. I'm running around trying to find stuff today. Uh, let me just break that on down in there. I hope this is good. Ooh, wee. I'm gonna cut this off because it has finally reached a nice, I don't know whether you can see that or not, not a, a real nice <laughs> thick consistency. See? Almost like a gravy. It's just real pretty. In a couple of minutes, we'll do something else. With right. it. Now, I'm going to put the other crust on the top of this. Be sure you let these things warm up a little bit because if they're real cold, they'll break or tear sometimes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to put it on like I'm this. I'm draining my rice. All right. Now, you now have your pie, and you want to do your crust real neat, so you can do it any number of ways, but the way I do it is like this. Just put your thumbs together and around the edge and Put your hands it. together and everybody clap. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, no, don't talk about the hokey pokey. We'll get in trouble oh, because it's... It is of dubious origin. I don't know whether you all have noticed this or not, but back on this sink, they have installed a new device. It's just wonderful. It is a rice hold. Your hands in the way, oh. Johnson. Your hands in the way. It's a rice holder. I'm trying. I'm Isn't trying. that just clever? <laughs> it can be. Oh, how nice! <laughs> oh, man. Off our water freshener. Uh huh. All right. Now I'm still mashing these. You see, you just put them on the edge, and you kind of feel the edge of the pie plate, and push together. I need some scissors. This is called the thumbprint style. Oh, use a knife. <laughs> use a knife, she says. Use a knife. All right, now I'm going to trim the edge of this, if I can figure out which side of this is the blade. Oh, look at this. It's going to do, I think, just fine. Now, I know we've said it on this show a million times, Larry, but... Once you get through trimming, and you're going to put it in the oven and cook it until it's done and brown at about th what what 350 degrees. Yeah, now, okay, so it might not, might need to go at 375 until the crust gets brown and looks good. Now, if we were really in the South, which we are, and Grandma was still alive, you'd take this piece of pie dough and and roll it out real thin and then spread it with sugar and cinnamon and raisins and any little bit of nuts if you've got the time. And then you roll it up and put it in the oven and we called it a beehive. And it's real good. This is what this looks like when it's all finished up. And I think that we need to eat it. Oh, okay. Isn't let it me, pretty? Let it's me, lovely. I think I'd have made a little more sauce. If I had a little more time, I'd played a little more around with it. But all I didn't right, have time. Here is well, there's a large chair in the way. <laughs> oh, yeah. that was my high chair in case I fell out. And what is this pie, Doris? Come on in here. One's got an H, one's got an H. Well, what's the H pie? Honey. Honey. Oh, this one is made, same pie, one is yeah. made with honey and one is made with Cairo syrup. You might want to see what the difference All right. I'm going to try this corn pudding. Put your plate over here. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Now, let me cut it. While you're tasting that, I'm going to cut it. Well, I'm going to try this Ooh, southern this stuff. this pie is definitely... Mmm. <laughs> the southern oriental rice is real good. It really is very simple. <laughs> <laughs> this pie, I'm telling you... Too bad we didn't bring that hatchet along. <laughs> All right, no, it looks... The corn pudding is... Now, it looks real good. ...real sweet. Let me try this pie. You could probably leave the corn pudding out of it. Let me try your beef oriental. Mmm. Got a good flavor to it. You know, Johnson, I hate to tell you this, but what? I'm not real wild about this pie. <laughs> now, I know that lady over in Benton will write me a horrible letter. Says you never like anything Johnson does. I do. I, you know, I usually do, but mm. well, it's real gummy, <laughs> gummy pie. It's the gummy pie. Well, let me try. But I do like the beef oriental. Maybe you should make it soupy. What do you think, Johnson? You're right, it's gummy. <laughs> it's got a it's got a nice flavor. 
It really does, but it it's definitely one for people with good teeth. And I'll tell you, I really do. The, I don't like real sweets, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't like for things that aren't traditionally sweet to be mm -hmm. sweet. So I think this is just a little tad on the sweet side. Well, you could leave the sugar out. Leave the sugar out, it'll be perfect. Well, that's it. We're going to leave ourselves out of here right now.